All right, yo, what's good, everyone? Nick Smith is back. In this episode, we are going to make some trades, sign Danny Granger, and then simulate a couple of games, wait till Paul George comes back from injury, because the man is out for two to four weeks. And uh, then we're going to play a game with Paul George and the Indiana Pacers. But first off, I tried to sign the boy Danny Granger in the last episode, and it came up with this. You may not sign Danny Granger without reducing the number of players on your roster. So we, our roster is kind of full right now. So what I plan to do is get a backup point guard. Um, and then I also plan to get Danny Granger. So let's get rid of Shane Whittington. Not looking towards keeping that guy. How good is the guy, the, the young man Joseph Young, 23 years of, 26 years of old? No, 26 years of age. Um, he has an 80 shot three, which is pretty good for a point guard. His free throw is at a 92. His dunk at a 30, which is that's can't really dunk, but uh, how's his defense looking like? 91 vertical. That's pretty good right there. I, I'm not even in front. That's, that's a nice vertical. Um, Lavoy Allen, Chase Bunninger. You know what? Let's clear some cat space um, for free agency. Let's look at the play contracts. Paul George, he's obviously on that huge contract because it's Paul George. He deserves to be on a huge contract. Fareed is on a contract that is steady. 11 million, 12 million, almost 13, and then almost 14 million dollars. So that's something. Our four, I mean, Chase Bunnington might be on the move just because he's a five million dollar contract. Hmm. I mean, I, I do want to get somebody in free agency. Hassan Whiteside will be a great fit for this team, right? Or Dwight Howard, or just some key position player, another superstar, maybe not even a superstar, just an all-star caliber player to, to team up with Paul George. I do want to open up cap space, but I don't want to trade for Reed. I don't know if I want to trade Monte Ellis. Comment down below. Comment down below, actually. Do you guys want me to trade Monte Ellis, or would you like me to keep him on the team? I want you guys to comment down below. Trade or keep Monte Ellis. And also, I want you guys to comment down below. Yeah, pretty much just trade or keep Monte Ellis, because he's the one guy I'm not sure on what to do. Because I want to keep Fareed, seeing on how he plays. And George Hill... I guess you guys can comment down below, would you want me to trade George Hill and who for? And also, same with Monte Ellis. Who would you want me to trade Monte Ellis for if I had to? And maybe not a, a player that has a huge contract because I want to free up some cap space for free agency. But Chase Bunninger, he might be on the move. So let's let's trade. Um, first of all, let's trade Mike Miller because he's on a he's on a three year uh, three million dollar contract along with Chase Bunninger and Solomon Hill. Just because I want to get rid of, um, I want to get rid of some players so I can sign Danny Granger. We only get one offer. Okay, I guess not. Chase Bellinger and Mike Miller. Let's take a look. Cam Bazemore. I just, I don't want to get players that have a huge contract. We can get two point guards right here. Um, Norris Cole, Anthony Morrow, a great three point shooter, along with Carl Singer, but he's a he had a pretty big contract. This would be a great salary move. Um, I mean, oh, let's take a look. 2016 Trailblazers pick, and I'll give you out. I'll give you some second round picks, and we'll see what they say to that. Can offer? Yeah, I'm not giving up that New York Knicks pick. You know what though? Actually, I want to try and get. Um, that Washington Wizards first round pick because that always seems to go um, that always seems to be a pretty a pretty good pick in the draft so let's maybe trade Solomon Hill or Chase but hmm imagine if we got the man Kelly Oubre you, you know I'm a huge Kelly Oubre fan from the Lakers my GM series um, but I don't think they'll give him to us. Alan Anderson. Why wouldn't the trade get? Wizards would have too many players. Um, you know what? Actually, you know what? This man, Rashawn Holmes. I, I think I don't know how you say his name, but I know he can. Th 
This is the guy that can throw it down, right? I've seen him posterize quite a few players. He only has 65 dunk. But he is a big man that can shoot the mid-range. So I might, might go after him. Um, and then... No, nah, I... Um, you know what I gotta do? I gotta see something real quick. I gotta see which one of these players is worth more to the to other teams. See how they're all like one star? And then watch, one of them will go to one and a half star. Like like Solomon Hill just went up one he just went up a half of a star to the Clippers because it he he means more to the Clippers. Actually, I gotta get my man! Hold up, people! Hold up! Jared Cunningham, okay? Why wouldn't the trade go through? Six million. Um, you can give me a J.R. Smith one-year contract. They would have too many players, really? Okay, give me Joe Harris then. And I'll give you a second round. Yo, if, this, if we can get this trade to go through. Yeah, yeah, I, I didn't think this trade was going to go through. Small forward, yeah, I understand, man. Uh, but I do really want that Jared Cunningham. I'm not even going to lie. I like Jared Cunningham. Um, can I just do w Whittington for Jared Cunningham? And a second round pick? Sweet. Uh, people, you got you to gotta know, alright? You might be thinking, why would you make that trade? That's just dumb. Trust me, okay? I like the man Jared Cunningham, okay? Jared Cunningham, let me show you his stats, okay? Let me show you this man's stats. He has an 83 ball, which is decent. He's only 24 years old, but he has an 85 drive. He's the Zach Levine of NBA 2K15 without the patch. No lie, I'll show you guys, I'll show you in the next episode that we play a game with um, with Jerry Cunningham. He's got an 85 acceleration, 82 speed, 84 vertical. This man is a monster in 2K, okay? Don't doubt Jared Cunningham. Now that was just a small trade, and what I wanted to do really was just to, to get rid of some players, um, because I just, I gotta get rid of some players. I wanna sign Danny Granger, and I wanna get rid of some cat space. I think this might be the trade. Because they're just on such small contracts. Um, but Vince Carter. Vince Carter? But he's on a $4 million contract. So I, I just want to get players that have a really small contract. I, I've heard a bit about this Pat Connington guy, whatever his name. Pat Connington. He has an 80 driving dunk. That's pretty good. Um... Is that just... Well, they're... Um, can I get like a... That's my phone goes off. Can I get a second round pick with that? I, I mean, I'll just take that. We get... Shite. I shouldn't have even done that. Because when you think about it... Um, when you think about it... I kind of just need... I need to get I need to get rid of a player. Okay, um can I just trade you for a for a pick? Can I just trade you for a pick right now? Um Is anyone willing to give me anything for a pick? I, I don't really want Isaiah Cannon only because um only because I don't need another point guard. Jason Terry, point guard though. Um, if I can get two second round picks, or if I can just get a first round pick actually. You know what? I got an idea. I got an idea. I people have an idea. Now if this trade goes through, I'll, I'll be I'll be amazed. 27 paces pick, Amra King. They're actually kind of willing to make a decent offer. Um, 
I'll take Josh Richardson. Okay, 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 okay. You don't want to give up Josh Richardson. That's fine. 27. If we... Okay. Um... 2018 first round pick. They kind of want that. They want that 2017. What if I went? What if I just went up to Joe Green and asked for a trade? They don't really offer us anything good. But Joe Green will be a great backup for. Um, he'd be a great backup. Since we lost Paul George. And they don't want to do that trade. Um, how about this? They, mm, they really don't want to lose Joe Green. Damn it, man. I, I want a Joe Green. Because... Well, I'm going to try one more time. Because normally in 2K, they will mess you up. I don't want to give up Rakeem Christmas because everyone was telling me that Rakeem Christmas is good. Can I give up anybody else? I'll give up anyone here. I'll give up. I'll give up. Um, Hollis Thompson. Sweet. I will take Joe Green. We all know how good Joe Green is in 2K. Okay. We all know how good Joe Green is. Um, great backup since well, he he can just go into the starting role since Paul George is injured. Um, I gotta talk to Kenneth after this, but I gotta, you know what, let's just release someone, let's just release, um, uh, I guess I can't really release anyone, right? I don't really, I don't really want to release anyone, but if I can get just a second round pick for Mike Miller, just so I can get, um, you know what? To replace Mike Miller... Who... What team can just give me a second round pick? Can the... I think if I do this... Yeah, they'd have too many players. How about this? What's a team that has a lot of catch base? The Celtics. The Celtics. The Celtics. Okay, I guess the Celtics don't have a lot of cash space. The Wizards. The Wizards. The Wizards. They don't have a lot of cash space? What team has a lot of cash space? The, okay, these guys will have a lot of cash space. The Trailblazers. Let's go to the Trailblazers. Oh my god, they'd have too many players. Can you offer me your lowest rated player? Man, I I just want to get Danny Granger. Actually, do I? Let's have a look for a sec. Can I just get Danny Granger now? No, I gotta get rid of someone. Um, I gotta get rid of someone. We have four point guards now. God damn it. Um, four point guards. So you know what? Let's get rid of let's get rid of Isaiah Cannon. Four point guards. I only want three. I can get Tim Hardaway Jr., but his stats have gone down a lot. Langston Galloway. Terry McCallum. I'll take a second round pick. I, okay, I'm just gonna take a second round pick off the Denver Nuggets. You know what, if I can get two, that'll be crazy. And then I'll just release Jason Terry. They, uh, they just offered me a 2016 pace of second round pick for an extra second round pick. Why not just take that deal? Now you might be wondering, that was just a stupid trade. Why does it matter if you just got second round picks? Trust me, they add up. They do add up. And the trade mattered because now I can release a player that only has a contract of 947k as my phone goes off and I don't mind releasing this guy because I feel like he's not that great of a player Jason Terry you know he's, he's alright 
But I want to pick up Danny Granger and bring in some old Indiana Pacer back. That this episode might have gone for might have gone on for a long time. I apologize. Um, so let's sign Danny Granger. How long has it gone for? Oh yeah, this this episode's gone on for a while, man. But anyway, we're signing Danny Granger right now. Actually, I hope we have enough cap space to sign. Oh yeah, we will. 1.5. You know what? Let's offer him 950k. I just want to see what he says. He, yeah, he, he doesn't want to do that. Uh, one mil. One hundred. One, uh, one mil. Let's offer him one point. He he's gonna accept this trade. Wow, he doesn't. Okay, one point five. You're gonna accept this trade. Really? Okay, I guess we'll have to offer you what you want then. We signed Danny Granger, which is pretty good in my opinion. Um, we do have Joe Green now and Danny Granger, so that's that's okay. We know Danny Granger is not gonna get. He, they put him in the starting lineup. Nah, man, I'm sorry, but yeah, you're, you're not in the starting lineup, buddy. <laughs> um, and then Monte, you're going out for CJ Miles. That's all good. The struggle of having Paul George go down with injury. Okay, so now let's talk to Kenneth. Start conversation with Kenneth. We know that Kenneth is upset right now, but um, we'll talk to Kenneth right now. Uh, and I expect to go on a little bit of a losing streak just because of the, the uh, trades that we made. Uh, we'll pump you up by 15. You got, you got to a 78. Wait, I don't need, why are you upset, man? Okay, now let's hopefully get Paul George back. You know what? I'm ending the episode. I'm going to simulate a, a few games in the next episode. I'm going to play a game in the next episode. If all goes to plan, I'm out. Peace. Leave a like if you want to see the next episode.